welcome once again to my youtube video if you're new to this channel please subscribe to get all our latest uploaded video so in our previous video here this tiny pesa and thank you for subscribing to my channel i uh, seem like i have 660 600 views here so uh, here we talked about uh, tiny pesa which is a platform that enables you to prompt an stk push using a till number so uh, what i'm going to do i've updated my my tiny pesa in my github i'll share my link in the description below i've updated i saw what i want to do i want to show you on how you can store your uh, successful res successful transaction in a database so first what we are going to do i'm going to log in into my new tiny pesa and i've advanced it a little bit so tiny pesa uh, sorry not that we miss here then to cash tiny pesa so here uh, i've advanced it i've added a link here called check transaction so if there is a transaction that will occur it will deposit and store it in a database then it will reflect here so like for this is this is the one that i used to test you can see here transaction number phone number and the transaction id then the amount that i paid so here so what i'm going to do i'm going to open the codes let me open my code my code editor sbs code mm, then uh, what i'm going to do let me look for the folder that has all the source code after it will open i'll take you through and how i've coded it and made it so here um, remember this page which is here this index index page here this one is the one that you're seeing here here so when you enter your detail like for the previous video we entered and then it prompted it prompted a nasty k push in the transaction but in the, that previous video we are not storing the transaction so we don't know if the transaction is the right transaction or it's a fake transaction so what i've added i've added here uh is a callback url so this callback url is the url when each and every transaction has occurred if it is successful it will store it in a database it will send the details here so when if you want to set your callback url you need to log in first into your into your into your tiny pesa account then click here at developers then here you will write http like for me i want to redirect it here to here stroke uh, first i have uploaded here when i enter my host so this is where i host my website to make a software to spinnacle and uh, i'm going to enter into the file the directory so here it's where i've added the callback url so when you are writing your callback url at tiny pesa you can write like for me http so https slash sorry slash meskia softwares.com slash api then slash tiny pesa tiny pesa then i write slash then i'll get this url this callback where i've uploaded it let me name then i will copy then I cancel here so then I'll write slash then paste the callback URL then I will update my webhook it has successfully updated my the webhook so here it's where when a transaction occurs it will send the information there so you can store it in a JSON format or you can send it or you can store it in a database so like for me when you this is the format when each and every transaction has occurred it will send a json response that looks like this 
So this response is what we are going to store it in a database. So make sure you add this file which is here in GitHub, this callback URL. This callback URL, you will connect it to your database of your host username, then password and post, then your database name. Then I have given you a SQL structure here for SQL structure for which can store direct you can store the uh, the information in the database. So what you're going to do, you're going to add this callback URL. Let me edit. Then as you can see here, this is the same exact code that is here. So you'll paste it on where you want the response to occur. So here, this is where. And uh, in addition, the callback URL must be online. It should be in an active domain. So here it's where I've connected here to my host. Here then this. So we are going to we are going to test the actual thing and see how it will occur. You can see here the transaction that I carried. Here is this, this then. Let me open first my database. It's loading, it always take long to load. So wait it to load, then here it's my database name. And the table is tiny versa. Here it is, this is the transaction. So I'm going to add another transaction. Here when we test, it will update the database. So first, what I'm going to do is come here. Then we will, we will come here. Type here my phone number two five four two five four seven uh, seven six eight one six eight zero sixty. That's my number. And I'll carry a different transaction, not for twenty twenty shillings. I will carry another transaction of let's say fifteen bob. Then I will uh, I will prompt appear. So I clicked it. Wait for an SDK push. Then enter your pin to complete your transaction. So okay, there it is. Then when I enter my transaction, okay. Uh, let's wait for the message to appear. Let's wait for it. For the message to appear. Just click here, confirm here, and press a message. Confirmed, uh, confirmed your pay to 15 shillings to my secure software. The current time is uh, 14 19, 419. Then here it is. So when we come here at our database, let me first clear the session that I is then. We delete it. When you come here, here's the transaction that are successful 20 shillings. And uh, when you come here also, when you come here also, so this is the transaction that we carried out uh, 20 shillings. And the, the previous, this one is the, the one that we have carried out now. And this one is for the previous, the transaction ID is here. And the transaction number, so we have fetched all temporary requests that we have. So, this is actually everything in about tiny pesa. So, in the next video that I'm going to do, I'm going to do on the real SDK push each and every model that you're going to be to B, B to C, SDK push, and each and every one. I'm going to make it simple because. That one is harder than this, and I will explain it as good as possible and as simple as possible. So if you're new to this channel, always make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell because I take my time to make this video and it's good video. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell when each and every time when I upload a video, you'll always get and you'll not miss out. So see you in the next video. Bye.